after taping the previous video, and I'm gonna commiserate for a second about how old that makes me feel just saying that, I looked at this cylinder in more detail. And what I found were two issues. The first was that the cylinder bore wasn't parallel with the port face. So if I laid this on a surface plate, uh, exaggerated, but it looked a bit like this. And um, it turns out that it was about 10 thou out across the length of the cylinder, eight or 10 thou out, um, which obviously is exaggerated over a longer distance. And I was trying to figure out how that might be. Because if you remember, I clamped the end of the cylinder to an angle plate and then put the angle plate on a face plate and then I span it in the lathe and then faced off that way. So if I did that, um, the, the port face should have been perfectly perpendicular to uh, the, the end of the cylinder. And then it came to me that what I've obviously done is when I flipped the cylinder to face the edges and then bore, the second time around, it must have been slightly deflected. So I fa faced it and bored it. So I've got one side flat with the bore perpendicular. The other side though, the, the, the first side, I guess, that I bored was at a slight angle. And it was that angle which I clamped to the angle plate, which then gave me the angled port face. So fixing the port face is quite, quite straightforward, really. I put a rod in here. I put a, uh, this in my vise with um, a piece of rod on top and a piece of bar on the bottom to allow it to rock slightly um, and pushed it hard up against there. So the inside of the bore was registering against this rod and then the rod was registering against the vise jaws and then I faced that off that way. So now I know the port face at least is perpendicular to the cylinders. Now, what I can do now is with that knowledge, just put that in the vertical slide, as in the vise, in the vertical slide like that, and then I can use the uh, a milling cutter or a slot drill to, to very gently face off the last few thou on that side to even it out. the end of the cylinder hopefully, or at least for now.